Today is a review of the brand new Coats Mineral Sunstick Tinted SPF 45. And I say tinted because it says on the bottle, tinted, <laughs> but more, more about that in a minute because lies. It is one fluid ounce, water resistant for 80 minutes, 4% titanium dioxide, 5.5 zinc oxide. And it comes like a little tiny deodorant stick. Should you buy this or should you skip it? Watch my wear test and I will wrap it up with my final thoughts. Wait, wait, wait. Join me in my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel. Thanks so much. New sunscreen day. <laughs> Coats Mineral Sunstick. I heard that sunsticks are all the rage in 2023. Oh, it's got a little top on it. I'm having trouble popping off. Mama, what you doing? What's going on? We got interrupted by this sweet baby. Trying to get, oh, there we go. This is tinted. Looks like it might be a good match. We'll find out. Okay, here we go. clear, right? It says tinted, but there's no tint. <laughs> no, there's, there's no tint. There's no tint. It may be tinted in the stick. There's no tint. That's, I was going to try and wear this on its own today. I guess I'm not anymore. It's fragrance free, but it does have a scent. At least it's not white and thick and cakey, huh? I'm gonna try and put this, yeah, I'm putting it on my eyebrows. I'm gonna put it on my eyes. It is hard to get around the eye area. I don't wanna miss anything. We got sunshine today. It's supposed to be 72. I'm gonna have the back porch open. I got short sleeves on. I'll put some sunscreen on my arms, a different sunscreen. When you do sun sticks, you're supposed to rub it in. So you rub it along and then to make sure that you've got an even coverage. Okay, I feel like I have a good amount on. Yes, we'll let that dry for 10, 15 minutes. I'll be right back to let you know if it dries down because right now it's on my hands. I'm back. Okay, it's been 11 minutes. This coats, coats, what? <laughs> so far I'm impressed. Um, it is slightly glowy, but it's more of a natural glow. Like it looks more glowy under the fluorescent lights than it does in my mirror. It's clear. I think this would work on all oh, skin tones. Dare I say it? <laughs> it didn't really like set down. So that's the one thing. It does make your face feel a little greasy, but it is water resistant for 80 minutes. Let's put on foundation. I'm gonna try and true, and then I'll pop back in. But so far, what? It's not irritating my eyes at all. It went for my eyes perfectly too. I'm also thinking I'm going to use it to reapply on top of makeup later. See if it works good on top of makeup. Coats, 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 you did me dirty. So I put my, I just have my foundation on and it mixed, the sunscreen mixed with the foundation and look, it's patchy, so patchy right there. And it like accentuated any dryness that I had and it made my foundation go on not evenly. Like I had to pat, 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 pat viciously to get my foundation to stick to my face. So. Uh, but this, this is, looks really bad. I don't know if you can tell. All right, I switched to 4K. So hopefully you can see like the patchiness that is between my eyes, my eyebrows. That looks so bad. I will not be reapplying this on top of my foundation. Yay for sun! So I don't like <laughs> the sunscreen under foundation. My face feels very sticky. So sticky. Sticky's no good. Maybe on its own I would like it better in the summer. I don't know. 
Okay, would I recommend this? <laughs> I would recommend this for if you're not wearing any sort of foundation or makeup. Like if you're just going bare face like I am today. I'm just bare face today. This would be great. It's also water resistant, so I think it would do really well in like pool situations. It would be easy application. Now what I didn't show you, I failed to show you in the video properly, is that you need to put more than one layer on and then make sure that you rub it in. Most people apply two to three layers of a stick sunscreen to prevent skip areas. And then of course reapply every two hours. I did not test this one on top of foundation because I saw what it did under foundation. So I can't recommend this one for on top of foundation. I think it's good for combination skin, leaning towards oily skin. I would skip this if you have dry skin. I love that it's fragrant free. I love that it's water resistant. I love that it's a natural finish. And $24 isn't a bad price. Today is a good day to wear sunscreen.